Pack NYC is a dynamic new home for the arts, serving audiences and the creative sector through flexible venues, enabling the facility to embrace wide-ranging artistic programs. The inaugural year will feature commissions, world premieres, co-productions, and collaborative work across theater, dance, music, opera, film, and more. Today, we inaugurate the last major piece of the rebuilding of the World Trade Center site, and one that will help us to open a new chapter in the history of Lower Manhattan. The Perlman Performing Arts Center is a 138-foot-tall, cube-shaped building with radically flexible capabilities. Designed by the architecture firm REX. To see the vision that went into every single block of marble, selected from the finest quarries in Portugal, because New York deserved the best is an unusual marble in that it, it has iron in it, and that's actually why when you see light on it, it has a cream color as opposed to being pure white. And it's also why when light comes through it, it has this amber glow. The vision for PAC NYC began when then-Mayor Mike Bloomberg and his team worked to ensure the plan for rebuilding the World Trade Center site included a performing arts center. We are proud to present the Perlman Performing Arts Center. Our hope and our goal is to connect audiences and artists and provide a space for them to really engage. So we're incredibly excited and honored to be able to do that and to be do able to do that in many different ways. A central feature to PAC NYC's design is its ability to adapt to whatever artistic vision it might be at a given moment. The walls and seats can be arranged into 60 iterations with capacity ranging from 99 to 950 seats. You know, this neighborhood has needed a kind of gathering place for a long time. And as the kind of rebuilding effort, this does feel like the final piece that was missing. The lobby's restaurant, Metropolis by Marcus Samuelson, along with the bar and outdoor terrace, offers a new gathering space for the lower Manhattan community. It's kind of amazing to be a part of uh, this project, both because I have a 30-year history of living downtown New York and a deep history with kind of the rebuilding effort. As an architect, to, to work on this site and to work on this kind of building, it's, it's you know, an incredible honor, it's super exciting, but on the other hand, as a, someone who witnessed this, it's still a very um, somber day for me. Time moves on, but September 11th, always comes back. I am so grateful that working together we have built three essential monuments to make sure the world never forgets. Yeah, the intent of putting a performing arts center here was always due to the belief that, that there is a restorative power of art. Arts and the culture institution is more than hearing a sound or seeing a sight. It renews our spirit. It starts the healing process that we are all experiencing and have never gotten over. We will continue to bring music and life because to do otherwise is to surrender. This is a testament to our resiliency. This space, honor this space, because this is the embodiment of the New York spirit. The arts are more than just entertainment. They are probably the only common language that the world speaks. This is Cecilia Hua in Lower Manhattan.